OneDrive on Office 365 is where you organize your Word docs, PowerPoint presentations, and more. In this tutorial, we will review some important viewing options and actions, then help you set up a system for organizing your files. There are three view modes in OneDrive. You can get to them over here. I'm in the list mode right now, but I can also go to compact list, which will show more files in a smaller space. Or I can go to tiles mode, which will show icons. There are also important actions in OneDrive. The first is the new action. This will create a file or folder wherever you are in OneDrive. The second is upload. This is when you want to put something from your own computer onto OneDrive, like a file or folder. Remember, the files that you see in OneDrive are actually stored on the cloud. So you can access them from any device. The last is share. You can collaborate with others or share a document for reference with the share button. For example, you might want to share some notes from a history class with another classmate. You could click on the file, hit share, then type in the person's name. It could be multiple people as well, and you could add a little message as well. All right. You can keep your OneDrive more organized if you have a system. The system that I'm proposing is number one, name your files. Number two, out with the old. And number three, organize new work into folders. Let's talk about naming your files. I'm going to switch back to list view here. Notice that I have some names that make sense for some documents, and then some other documents are just titled document or document one. I want to make sure I know exactly what each file is. You could do this by naming them by year, by a file description, and your name. I'll give you an example. I could go to the ellipses here, and rename this document, I'll rename it something more relevant. I'll start with the year, then a description, and finally my name. Now it's renamed 2020-2021 Chemistry Notes John Goddard. All right, I've finished renaming my documents, and now you can see it's a lot more clear. I can even sort these by name, and you'll notice that I have all the older documents with last year's school year. That leads me into talking about my second point. Don't clutter your OneDrive. It's important to store your old files away so they don't make your OneDrive messy. Make a folder for your old schoolwork. I recommend naming it for the year, 2019-2020. Now that I have my folder, I can select all the files that are from last year, and I can move them in a couple of different ways. I could drag these by clicking and moving them into this folder, or I can also use the Move To button. OneDrive moved five items to my 2019-2020 folder. Lastly, it's important to maintain some organization through folders. I will organize new work into folders by creating one for each of my classes. Now you can see that I have four new folders, one for chemistry, one for English language arts or ELA, one for history and one for math. Let's get these organized. Now you can see I have a folder structure that will work for the whole year. Remember, name your files, remove old files, and organize new work into folders, and you'll keep your OneDrive looking great.